Hello everyone, Max here with Avon Website Pro and today we're going to learn how to download Google Drive to your computer so that you'll be able to sync a folder on your desktop with your Google Drive. So then that way you could just drag stuff into your folder on your desktop, it automatically syncs, you don't have to open up Google Drive. So we're going to visit this URL first, uh, http www.google.com drive download so that's slash drive slash download after Google Drive and you're going to be presented with uh, two different types of download and we're going to do this personal one the backup and sync basically we're going to back up files from your computer your camera or possibly even SD cards to the cloud you want to find your files on any device or computer using Google Drive and then you see your f Google photos as well in Google Drive so just click on that little download link and after you do that you're going to be presented with the screen that looks like this on your Windows machine. So that's uh, you have to agree to the terms of service so just click the agree and download and then you're going to be getting this screen. Now if it doesn't begin to download you can click there to retry. I know I had to do it whenever I was preparing this video presentation so you may have to too on your Windows machine. I'm on a Mac here of course and I have these screenshots that I took off the Windows machine. The next thing you'll be presented with is the download of the application, the exe file. Now what I ended up doing is I clicked my downloads folder on the left so I downloaded it to my downloads folder but you notice it's an application and then just click save. The next thing you'll see is the if you're in the Google Chrome browser you'll see the uh, exe file download and when it's done downloading you can just click on this and the installation will begin uh, or the downloading will begin actually uh, rather. And it doesn't take very long. It only took us about 25 seconds to download the application. And then the next thing that you'll be, see is installing. And it will go through the install process. And then finally, you'll see installation complete. You could click, cl click close on that window. And you'll see something like this pop up on your screen where you can get all your files at your fingertips. So if you click the Get Started, you're going to be presented with this next where you need to sign into your um, Google Drive sync application. So you'll put your uh, email address in there and then you'll click the next button. After that you're going to be presented with something like this where you have to enter your password and you can have click that stay signed in and click sign in. Okay the next thing that you'll see is this uh, screen right here where you have to choose folders from your computer that you're going to continuously back up to Google Drive. So what this does is it gives you that little folder on your desktop that you just drag files and folders to and then it automatically syncs with your Google Drive. So to, set, so to set that up click got it and then you're going to be presented with an application like this. Now for me I didn't want to sync the entire thing so I unchecked all of these and right here where it says choose folder you're going after you click choose folder you're gonna it's going to bring up a explorer window like so and I hit desktop on the side and I created a new folder just called Google Drive because that made sense to me and then uh, finally you finally you'll click click select folder and that'll put the Google Drive folder on your desktop so I actually open the Google Drive folder and hit select folder okay so the next thing that it's going to ask you to do is to sync files from my drive to a folder on this computer now this is a little bit different first we were syncing from my computer to my drive and now it's asking you to sync files from my drive to your computer. So once you click on got it down here, the little blue button, you're going to be presented with something like this. And what it does is it goes on the, your Google Drive, the cloud, and it 
selects all the folders that you have in your drive and you'll notice here you could select them all or you could see here I just selected one articles which was zero megabit for, megabyte for the demonstration now right up here where it says folder location you can change that uh, I decided to keep it the same but it would probably be a good idea if you create a different folder on your desktop to grab the stuff from Google Drive to download to your computer. But uh, after you select the, after you get the folder location set and the folders from Google Drive that you want to bring to that location, you'll click Start. Now, if you do what I did and you just leave it the the left it the same folder, and then you click Start, you're going to be presented with a little pop up about merge with existing Google Drive folder. It's asking if you want to do that. I just click continue because I wanted to keep them all in the same place. And then overwrite any new folders or new files that I put in there. Because uh, I usually don't use it this way. But uh, I thought that this, was, this was a good idea to uh, show people how to, how to use it. Next, you're going to see this little thing right here well this is kind of like zoomed in uh, you want to sync my drive to this computer and then you're given that folder location once again I used Google Drive you can change it here if you want now the icon that you're gonna see on your desktop is going to be that little sync icon with the two arrows like that and it's gonna let you know that it's syncing that folder in Google Drive it's grabbing the files from Google Drive and downloading them to your computer. Uh, there is a new icon. Remember the old icon Google Drive had? Well, now it's just a picture of a cloud icon. And when it's syncing, you're going to see them two little black circular arrows letting you know that it's syncing. So if you're looking for the old drive button or the old drive icon down in by your clock area, you're not going to find it. It looks like this. And let me see if I can zoom in here. So it's, yeah, it's getting all pixelated and everything, but it looks like that. It's just a picture of a little cloud down there by your clock now. And there you go. So you can see that uh, Drive did indeed go, and it started syncing things and downloading my Google Drive uh, uh, folders and files, and it's downloading it to my computer there. Now, the other thing, too, is if you go to drive.google.com, you're going to see a new tab over here called Computers. And what that is is a list of computers that you have set up with your Google Drive. And whenever you click on them, you can see that the Google, this Google Drive folder is the one that's on my computer right now. Okay, and so that's what it's syncing. So if we drag, um, if we drag files into that folder on our desktop, they're going to appear here on our Google Drive in our browser. And that's pretty much it. And so it'll take things from your Google Drive and download them to the, your computer and then the folder that you have on your computer to sync with your Google Drive it'll do that as well and it's pretty slick pretty slick application a couple of changes from the way that it used to be done I hope this tutorial was able to help you out there and have a great day please like share subscribe if this video helped you and if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to comment below this is Max with A1 Website Pro thanks for watching